If you're new here, my name is Rosa. If not, welcome back. Today it is time to put up our Christmas tree. Well, the moment that I'm doing this voiceover, my Christmas tree has been up for a week already and it makes me so happy. Stop what you're doing right now and let me know down in the comments below. Do you have your Christmas tree up already? And if not, when do you plan on putting it up? So as you can see, this Christmas tree gives me quite a bit of work, but it's such a beautiful tree. This tree is probably a little bit older than I am. I'm not sure. If it's not older than me, it's around the same age. This Christmas tree was actually my late mother-in-law's. Um, it was kept in this house and it was so well preserved after all these years. I can't believe how um, intact it still is. It's such a beautiful tree. The only problem with this tree is that you still like, you can see how antique it is because you have to put it um, twig by twig. Um, so there's so many pieces to it. And also, it's a very, very wide tree, so it occupies a lot of space. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a very, 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 very beautiful tree, like I said 500 times already. Um, so I'm very grateful to have it. So as you probably already noticed, I have a little helper or the exact opposite. I have my cat running around the tree. And I had to actually put her away because... If I didn't, she wouldn't stop and I just wouldn't get this done. So I locked her in my room while I was um, fluffing out the tree and decorating it because if she was around, she would just be jumping all over the tree and like I said, I would get nothing done. Literally, as I am doing this voiceover, I just had to get up and pick up some uh, ornaments off of the ground because she thinks that the tree is a toy. But I guess that is a, like, a general cat thing, and it's not just my cat, but it still doesn't make me feel better. So, I'm fluffing up my tree, and I just grab the stems all in two opposite di directions to fill in the gaps. I used to not do it this way, I used to not know how to fluff a tree. Um, but a couple years ago, someone taught me how to actually do it the proper way, and ever since I've been doing it this way, I wonder, how do you fluff out your tree? Let me know in the comments down below if you do it differently than I do. So right about now you're going to see me dancing with my little troublemaker princesa. I had picked her up off the ground because she was trying to climb the tree. Um, but I love her very much even though she's a troublemaker. Um, looking at this footage she looks so chubby. 
I was obviously listening to Christmas music because who doesn't listen to Christmas, Christmas music when you're decorating the tree? What is your all-time favorite Christmas song? Let me know in the comments down below. So the tree is all fluffed out and the next step I will be putting the lights on the tree. Since this tree is old or um, it was made years ago, um, obviously it's not pre-lit. So I go in every year with the string of lights. I actually use two to make it a little bit more fuller. And I do use colorful lights. Every year I'm like, I'm gonna buy the warm white lights this year. But I never end up buying them and I still always fall in love with the colorful lights. Maybe next year I'll buy the warm yellow lights or the warm white ones. Um, because I look at other trees online and at other people's houses and I always fall in love with the warm white lights but I think these colorful lights bring me back to my childhood and to me it's so nostalgic. To a child a colorful tree is a very magical tree and I think each version has its beauty. I like the warm lights because it's calming but these colorful lights just make it look so magical and I prefer this style of colorful lights to the actual new style that is on pre-lit trees because the pre-lit trees are actually a little bit too blue for my liking. So if I had to choose in between the warm lights or the new version of the colorful tree, I would probably choose the warm lights. But since the, the colored lights that I have is still this way, the way that you're seeing on the video, I actually will keep it for uh, this year. Maybe next year I'll do the warm lights. We'll see. So I'm finally starting with the decoration and I'm adding in these uh, red poinsettias and I think they just make the tree look so beautiful. I actually before this was playing with ribbon on the tree and I just couldn't get it to look good so I gave up on the ribbon. But I really really wanted to do the ribbon this year. Maybe next year I'll, I'll get some better ribbon for the tree. Um, I didn't want to spend too much on Christmas decorations this year, so I still think it looks beautiful. I'm going in with my gold um, ornaments. My tree, um, I had the tree but I didn't have any of the Christmas ornaments and so I bought these two years ago and I was going for a red and gold theme. But then I came across these beautiful, beautiful blue ornaments and it wasn't in the plan to include the blue. There you see it. That was the ornament that made me buy the blue ones. So my tree theme is red, gold, and blue, and then there are some pops of green. But um, the plan wasn't to make it a colorful tree. <laughs> I swear, all I wanted was the gold and the red, but that blue ornament with the gold detail, it just drew me into it and I ended up buying it. But I think next year I'm going to take off all the other colors and I'm going to stick with the traditional red and gold. We'll see. Um, but I still think that everything turned out so beautiful. And you'll see in a little bit. I made these pine cone ornaments. I just glued some string on them. And I try, I guess you could say that my tree is a little bit rustic theme as well because I do have wooden ornaments cork ornaments and the pine cones. There are the cork ornaments I also made myself. Let me know if you want a DIY video for ornaments. I actually have made a few ornaments all by myself. Um, I also have the ornaments that I painted. I painted this one too. I bought the wooden heart and I painted mine and Louise's name on it. And 2021 was actually our first Christmas living together. And that ornament there, that really pretty cookie one, uh, was given to me last year. So it's now on my tree. I really, really like that ornament. I know it's like colorful, but I think it it's very beautiful. So you're about to see all these wooden painted ornaments. I was one who painted these. Um, these were actually my first ones being painted. They've improved um, a lot. Uh, these were the, literally the first ones I've made myself. Um, like the letters on the paws, I do a little bit differently now. This little polar bear, I got an idea off of Pinterest for this one. I also did a little snowman, you'll see in a second after the gnome. 
uh, this gnome I painted my first year as well. Everything here is from the first year I did these. And gnomes are not in style anymore for Christmas, at least not this year, but they used to be very, very popular for Christmas time. Oh, here's a little snowman that I was talking about. I think I got this idea off of Pinterest as well. Can't remember. I think it's just so beautiful either way. And now time to add the little glam to the tree, the crystals and the bells. I think these are so beautiful. This one here with the four dangling pieces was actually from Louise's childhood. This was an ornament that was with the Christmas things that were in the house. Um, I bought only four of these bells. I kind of uh, regret only buying four. I should have bought a little bit more, but that's okay. And here's a snowflake. Um, I think it's very beautiful. This here was actually made by my sister-in-law. She embroidered it herself, so that was a very pretty gift too. And I'm just adding the finishing touches to the tree now with the extra um, um, Christmas ornaments. Do you decorate the back of your tree? I tend to put less ornaments on the back of my tree. I usually hide the ones that are um, not my favorites back there, but and try to still give it that full look so when someone peeks from the side you can see that it is decorated. So I'm now putting the star on the top of the tree. Lisa had actually helped me the first time with this, but the star that we had tried putting on I got from the States. It was a little too, um, how would you say it, champagne for the tree. The gold of the star wasn't the same color as the ornament, so I just stuck with the star that I used last year. And I am now putting the skirt on the tree. This was a skirt that I bought the first year of Christmas living up here. Um, I would prefer something different, but I still think that the skirt is really pretty and it ties in with the colors that, of the ornaments of the tree. So to me, it's a beautiful skirt. I'm literally touching the skirt all day every day, trying to put it in its right position because Princesa loves to play under the tree and it always gets, um, how would you say, messed around with. Here is the finishing touch of the tree. Let me know what you think. I think it turned out really beautiful. I really wanted to put in the ribbon this year, but it's okay, it did not happen. Maybe next year. Um, nevertheless, this tree still takes my breath away and it's so nice having the tree lit at night while we're in the living room. It just makes it all so cozy and when the tree is up, the Christmas spirit is so much more. I love Christmas. It is my favorite time of the year. Let me know what your favorite thing about Christmas is. This video is coming to a wrap. I'm just going to let you admire the beauty of this tree. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to hit that like button if you like this type of content. Comment down below anything that you would like to tell me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I have a, a whole bunch more of Christmas videos coming out. And once again, thank you so much and I really, really hope to see you next time. Bye!